Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to the session. This is Shweta Roy, your English master teacher at Vedantu. I'm sure guys, the chapter that we are going to delve into today is going to be your favorite chapter after today's session. We are talking about the Blue Bead by Nora Bird. So it's going to be a super amazing chapter guys, trust me on that. So are you people excited to delve deep into the chapter because this chapter has multiple layers of interpretation. So let us unfold this beautiful and heart touching chapter, The Blue Bead by Nora Burke. Yes, super excited guys. Those of you who do not know me, uh, I am your master teacher Shweta Roy and I have pursued my masters in English and B.Ed. Having a year of teaching experience, I have also qualified CTET and mentored more than 20,000 students online and offline. And my motto is to unleash the power within you because I believe each one of you are powerful and you all can ideate, create and innovate and literature and language is the medium through which you can do so. So before starting with the chapter, do put down in the chat empowerment yes guys you all should feel empowered so delving into the session first we will obviously talk about the word of the day and it has been given by Anthony so let's big let's give a big round of applause for Anthony guys and the word is egalitarian it is a noun meaning a person who advocates or supports the principle of equality for all people the principle, basically it's a principle, okay? So guys, he was social and political egalitarian. That's how Anthony has used this particular sent, uh, word in a sentence. Now you can use this particular word in your own way, in your own sentences, guys. So try and put it down in the chat. Let me see what sentences can you put to use using this particular word. And also don't forget to post your words, guys, your word of the day in the comment section. All right, guys. So let's get started. And before starting, please do hit the like button. Show your love, show your support. And don't forget to hit the like button, share the video with your friends and subscribe to the channel in case you haven't. So guys, before moving ahead, I would like to have a riddle with you people. So, how many of you can answer this riddle? Let us check that out. You go at red but stop at green. What am I? Think about it, guys. We will discuss the answer at the end of the session. Everyone think about the answer and let me know the answer at the end of the session. And now, guys, delving into the session, this is how we are going to have the chapter. We would be moving ahead with the summary or the key points of the chapter, discussing the theme and the character sketch, wrapping the session up with the homework question, of course, with the important question and answers and the homework question. So let's begin with the summary or the key points of the chapter. Now, this short story, Blue Bead, is written by Nora Burke in 1953. Nora Burke is a British writer and she specifically is, you know, famous for her non-fiction stories. Okay. Now, this story is about a 12-year-old girl and a heroic deed. It's a sim uh, not just about a heroic deed, but also about a simple and innocent wish. Very, very important, guys. Please note these. These are definitely talking about the theme of the story as well, right? The story starts with a description of a river and also a crocodile. And then it transitions into the description of a 12-year-old poor girl, Sibia. So Sibia's description, the crocodile's description, both the descriptions are very, very important. So please, guys, I would request you to go through your text for the description of the crocodile as well as the girl, Sibia. We will definitely talk about uh, the description of the girl in the character sketch as well okay now the girl was poor very poor so definitely poverty is one of the most important theme in this particular story and i would also like to mention over here point to be noted guys the story is written during the colonial rule okay so this talks about the poverty of indian so this the con the setting is again indian so definitely it talks about the poverty during that point of time india Okay, India and uh, the people who were suffering from poverty. Okay, so though she was poor to buy gems or even brown glass beads, she loved to admire the various types of beads. So yes, innocent wish. What was her simple innocent wish? 
to buy various types of beads she loved she admired beads uh, kashmiri clothes okay and even shining tin trays that were sold in a bazaar of market okay and <clears throat> all the females in the village had different necklaces made from colorful glass beads which grow which grew in abundance in the jungle soon by the respective family needle so these beads used to grow in the jungle and they were soon then by their family needles but sibia's family needles needle was snapped in half so it was broken and therefore she had she could not afford a new needle so therefore she had to wait so her innocent and simple wish was to have the colorful bead so that she could have that woven into a necklace that was something which was her wish okay so please note this and please note the poverty the crippling poverty that she had uh, that she was facing right guys now the description of the river which is full of deadly crocodiles so the women make loud noises while crossing the stream because the noises would scare away the crocodiles the steep uh, they steep the carts on the banks of the river collect the paper grass and return to the village okay that is what the women used to do but sibia what did she do she used to lag behind intentionally why to check the cave where she had kept her own handmade clay molded cups and saucers to dry so this was her regular habit okay she used to lag behind so that she used to uh, she could check the cave in the cave she had kept her own handmade clay molded cups and saucers okay So guys before proceeding further let me take a short while to congratulate our rock stars who have done who have made outstanding results in J main 3 so a big round of applause guys and you can be the next if you want to know how please stay tuned because very soon i'm going to talk about that as well theek hai so a big round of applause for our rock stars super performance guys and yes vedantu students are unstoppable you are vedantu students you are also unstoppable yes now here is a question for you people how long was the crocodile thrice the length of a young man uh, sorry tall man twice the length of a woman twice the length of child twice the length of tall man so while we are doing this session guys i would request you to keep your book keep your text in front of you it would help you to relate your text with the explanation that i am giving you right now theek hai so come on people let me know the answer answers guys please post it in the chat okay let's check the answer in 3 Two, one. Let's go. Yes, twice the length of tall man. That's the uh, description given uh, about the length of the crocodile in your text. So please keep your text handy when you sit and look into the session, watch the session. Okay. Next question. What were the tasks Sibia performed? Wash clothes, clean the house, cut grass for fodder, collected flowers. Given in your text. Come on, people. this is something which you can also mention in the character sketch of sibia okay let me have the answers guys in 3 2 1 let's have a look yes cut grass for fodder is absolutely correct moving ahead guys now while she used to do she used to watch her you know clay pots uh, uh, that time she one day she uh, uh, there was a gujjar woman who came to the river to fill her gurras okay and out of nowhere a crocodile lunged at her she attacked the crocodile with her hay fork so what did she do what did sibia do the moment she saw this incident she immediately attacked the crocodile with her hay fork the crocodile reared up in convulsion and crashed back okay sibia held the arms of the fainting woman and helped her out of the water so that is the deed of heroism performed by sibia she smeared her wounds with sand and wrapped it so that the bleeding could stop and then she also helped to reach the uh, you know she helped the gujjar to reach the encampment sibia then returned to the river to get the glass Uh, to get the grass sickle and fork so after performing the deed of heroism obviously that talks about her selflessness 
also so she was selfless and she was it talks about her heroism she was definitely courageous okay so these are the character traits that is really evident from this particular incident so please note this you have to put it in the character sketch of sibia and then when she returned back as she bent to pick uh, pick the fork what did she notice she noticed a blue bead the bead was perfect and even pierced and she could use it for her necklace she was overjoyed to find the blue bead because that was the dream that was the simple innocent wish that she ever had when she reached home she met her mother and obviously the mother scolded her for being late sibia was excited to tell her mother about the blue bead just remember guys she was excited to tell her mother about the blue bead but she had forgotten what had happened prior to this prior to her finding of the blue bead so see as if it was a daily occurrence it was a matter of daily occurrence she did not even remember that she had saved she had done a, such a great deed of as to save a gujjar woman from the clutches of a crocodile as if it was nothing in front of her right so she had also forgotten that so now you tell me guys if when you have read the story when you have read the text thoroughly and then you have also seen the watch the session do let me know from your understanding the story the blue bead is full of visual imagery simile suspense or personification what do you think guys use your discretion and do let me know the answer have you are posted the answers in the chat can we have a look okay 3 2 1 yes guys it is filled with visual imagery it is enriched with visual imagery guys okay so the chapter is a must read you'll really enjoy reading the chapter reading the story so guys if you remember i had mentioned about the outstanding performance of our vedantu students and how vedantu students are unstoppable so do you want to also join us and gain 100% knowledge and score 100% marks guys remember we are ensuring your improvement yes guys that is the bold step that we are taking so yes if you join us guys your performance is guaranteed your improvement in the performance is guaranteed by vedantu now do you want to know how are we making such a bold promise stay tuned guys i would definitely definitely let you know about the amazing features that we have which is enabling us to give you the best so that there's a guarantee of your improvement in the academic field okay so now let's delve quickly into the character sketch and thereafter we would be dealing with the theme of the story as well So guys Sibia is the protagonist of the story she is a poor girl and she is extremely observant when you are saying extremely observant please give the back your um, statement with examples from the text what all she used to observe right when she went to, into the bazaar okay so please uh, note that as well dreams about jewelry that was a simple inno innocent wish please talk about that she was simple she was a 12 year old girl happy and she appreciated little things in life that is really significant because she was overjoyed to find the blue bead right so and also very important happy to help others even at the cost of endangering her own life please mention the tussle with the crocodile and how she saved the gujjar woman right so uh, all the points are mentioned over here you have to back that up back all these points with examples from your text we have already discussed what examples are you going to take from your text so please frame your answers accordingly all right guys and now let's talk about the theme of the story yes the theme are broadly if we mention it is definitely related to poverty heroism courage and importance of positive mindset the finding of the blue bead actually the blue bead was not a bead it was a uh, you know glass uh, bottle uh, it was from uh, you know a glass bottle so yes but still now we will talk about that uh, very soon uh, what what exactly uh, what what positive approach 
did Sibia have after she got the bead to be used for her necklace? Right? And what to her, what did that bead mean? Okay? So, guys, talking about the theme, uh, talking about the analysis of the chapter, the critical analysis of the chapter, very important pointers that you need for your answers, guys. Please note that this is a story which is based in colonial India. Right? Burke for all her empathic, empathetic description of Indian life, she has not escaped the Oriental influence. How do we know that? Because we see that her audience was largely British, right? So she was definitely a British novelist and her audience was largely British, right? And she's writing about colonial India. She is also a part of that colonial India. She is a part of the um, colonizers, right? So she must have been quite aware of the language registry. So language used to describe the natives. You have to take a note when you're reading the text. Take a note of the language that she has used to describe the natives. Sibia is described as a jolly girl. As I told you, happy girl, right? So when you're uh, pointing out, framing the character sketch, do mention how she's referred to as a jolly girl. But look at the words she has been uh, attributed to, Okay. So see, her, the descriptions include, she came on, on wings. So you can use these descriptions when you are writing the character sketch. And you can also point out this fact. Okay, what is the fact? Let me tell you. She came on wings, choosing her footing in midair, even without thinking about it. Then her imagination took her into swooping flight. And then, and she could look down over the river as if she were a bird. So, guys, you can see that the descriptions used for Sibia can be attributed more to a bird than to a woman. Okay. Now, added to this, it would serve us well to remember that Sibia is hardly a human name. Why? In terms of wildlife, Sibia is actually the genus of a bird found in different parts of India. And they are brown in color, very much like the Sibia in the story. Isn't it, guys? So Sibia in this story, she's an Indian girl. So the brown skin, right? Considering groups, sorry, considering Burke's background as the daughter of a forest officer. So please note that Burke was the daughter of a forest officer. This fact could have been lost on her altogether, okay? Surely being termed as a bird may be seen. So she, uh, she was a forest officer's daughter. So obviously she had noticed these kind of birds, okay? Uh, surely being termed as a bird may be seen as a compliment by some. Now, if you are termed as a bird, you can see that as a compliment as well. But please note, this story was written at a time when the African kids of Sibia's age, okay, African kids, they were also the colonized, uh, they were also colonized, right? Just as India was, remember? Okay, so uh, they were being caged in zoo as an object of curiosity. Yes, guys, you have heard it right. The, the kids, the African kids, just because they had a different uh, skin color, they were looked as an object of curiosity and they were caged in zoos. So just think about it and then, uh, you know, you can reflect upon the usage of the bird over here. Okay, so can we all say that the name Sibia is kind of dehumanizing her? Let us think upon that. We can have multiple layers of interpretation over here. So what do you think? What is your input? Please do let me know in the chat. The narrator provides a very vivid description. Apart from this, guys, a vivid description. As I told you, the entire story is filled with vivid description, which is going to visually appeal you guys. So she is providing a vivid description of the day-to-day -day lives of the women. When she says the women toiled all day long at this work and the agent sat on silk cushions smoking hookah. Very, very, very important, guys. The discrimination, the disparity between the rich and the poor. The women were toiling, working hard all day long, day in and day out. But the agents, what were they doing? They were sitting on the silk cushions smoking hookah. That was the kind of um, disparity, inequality, social inequality. Right, guys? 
and then this is also talking about the topic of female labor in colonial india so she is definitely bringing or you know bringing to light shedding light for the suffering uh, into the suffering of women and children in colonial india but the question still remains guys why is burke writing the way she is and whom is she writing for very important question that we all must ask okay it is perfectly fine to represent and appreciate the daily jungle heroism of people like sibia so of course we have seen uh, the appreciation of jungle people okay like sibia and please note burke was the daughter of a forest officer okay so eulogizing it becomes a dangerous affair so that means why why is eulogizing this kind of uh, uh, heroism becoming a dangerous affair because see sibia has overcome this crocodile this time okay true sibia has overcome this crocodile and is not afraid she is she is not shaken by the uh, dangers of the jungle right but what next point to be noted what about the other crocodiles jung, uh, sorry elephants tigers and snakes which still remain what about the countless sibias of the colonial raj or for that matter the forest dwellers of contemporary india very 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 important factor that we all need to keep in mind and therefore the question again remains is not eulogizing it this kind of affair is a dangerous one you let me know your opinion on this guys today sibia escapes the crocodile today sibia escapes the crocodile but may not be tomorrow okay moreover luck doesn't replace the exploitative system of colonial rule very 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 important part okay so maybe today she is lucky to escape the crocodile but what about the crocodile of the colonial raj if we consider uh, colonial rule as that crocodile from the clutches of which neither sibia nor girls like sibia or rather people like sibia can ever escape which dictates sibia's daily life and of which nona burk is also a part important point to note over here okay so considering the line right at the beginning of the story used to describe the crocodile look at this he was twice the length of a tall man and inside him among the stones which he had swallowed to aid digestion rolled a silver bracelet this might as well have been another sibia yes or no guys the bracelet that here the author talks about could also have been another sibia whose story we shall never hear so think about the story ponder upon the story understand the different levels at which the story could be interpreted coming to the important question and answers guys i want your participation read the extract guys from the day perhaps a year 100 years a uh, 100 years ago when the sun had hatched him in a sand bag and he had broken uh, he had broken his hell and got his head out and looked around ready to snap at anything before he was even fully hatched from that day when had at once made for the water ready to fend for himself immediately he had lived by his brainless craft and ferocity so this is the description of the crocodile escaping the birds of prey and the great carnivorous fishes that eat baby crocodiles so the struggle that the crocodile had been facing when it was a baby okay he had pro, uh, he had prospered catching all the food he needed and storing it still uh, till putrid in holes in the bank tepid water to live in plenty of rotted food grew him to his great length this is the description of the crocodile guys right at the beginning of the story how did the crocodile manage to grow to its present length very very important what do you think guys important question for you 
Let us have a look at the answer, guys. As a baby crocodile, he had managed to escape the birds of prey, the larger fishes, and also for his food, he depended on what? Anything that he could swallow, from small fishes to insects to deer and monkeys and everything that was lying rotten inside his stomach. Right, guys? Next, you have to elaborate on this, guys. This is basically the main gist of the answer. Okay? Just so, give an introduction and a conclusion also. Okay? Fourth question. Okay. Next, extractor Sibia was eating the last of her meal. Chapati wrapped around a smear of green chili and so this is the beautiful description and visually appealing description of the kind of food that poor people like Sibia had, right? So definitely talking about the poverty of the Indian people during the colonial rule, okay? And then let us see what is the question. Obviously, what does this extract talk about Sibia's economic background? Very, very important question because that is one point which you would also require in Sibia's character. So you can also include this point in the character sketch of Sibia talking about he, her economic background. So the coarse meal that has been mentioned is a clear indication of her, indicator of her humble background. She was definitely belonging to a poor family and uh, there is also mention of her wearing rags obviously and a clear indication again of a poor background and she has to keep her mother in cutting grass which could be sold off to earn money so that is what that was her job all this indicate her poor background so guys before moving to the final 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 thing before wrapping the session up with the homework question, let me quickly talk about the unlimited live classes that we have in our wave platform, which is not always possible in YouTube. So guys, I'm sure you enjoy all the live classes in YouTube. So just imagine if you have all of them live in our wave, you are going to have unlimited fun and no longer you need to wait for the mentee. Because you would have all the questions, uh, you would have the quiz questions, high level quiz questions in all the session. You could compete with the students throughout the world. And even when you are watching the replays, that's going to have the live quiz as well. So that is something which is fascinating, right guys? Plus you will see the leaderboard and you will get to know how many points have you earned. You can download the notes also and all the doubts are going to be clarified then and there in the class with the help of our class teachers and you can also have all the micro courses for free yes no more paying extra amount for micro courses and crash courses and all this is in very less price for that you just need to visit the link and click in the description box uh, in the in the pinned comment use the coupon code in order to get a complete 10 percent discount guys and we have three types of plans, light, classic, and plus. So uh, in the light, you will have all the features, live interactive classes, test series and analysis, doubt solving in the class, everything, guys. And in the, uh, in the classic, you will have all the features of light plus doubt solving on mobile app. Isn't that amazing, guys? And in the plus, you will have classic, all the features of classic plus a personal mentor. So just imagine what wonderful features you have and plus we are taking the guarantee of your improvement. So no more worrying about your education guys. Just visit the link. It's just a click away guys. You have unlimited micro courses as well. So just a click away. Visit the link and use the coupon code and no need to worry about your education. You will have fun. You will have a guarantee of your improvement. These are the bad starting dates, guys. Quickly have a look at the bad starting dates. For NTSC, you can just, uh, you know, click on the link and go to the NTSC, um, the target exam NTSC, okay? And you will get all the information about that. So remember, we began the session with an interesting riddle. So can you tell me the answer to the riddle now? Have you guys found out the answer to the riddle? Let us have a look, guys. Three, two, one. Yes, watermelons. Outstanding, people. You've got it correct. Superb, superb. So, how did you enjoy the riddle, guys? Do let me know in the chat, in the in the 
you know comment section and don't forget to mention the homework answer in the comment section and be uh, and get a chance to be the next homework rocker for the next session guys till then take care bye bye thank you so much don't forget to visit the link in the description box and don't forget to share the video subscribe to the channel in case you haven't and do 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 hit the like button take care bye bye guys